<clears throat> you know what? I gotta get this thing set up so it's tuned down. Because I gotta use it to uh, go back and re record some songs that I thought were done. But uh, anyway, so my buddy, George. Um, he's, so, it's basically me and him, George and I, <laughs> are doing this album, uh, and it came to pass, and it, right now it's just called Michael D, but it might be called something else, because he's putting a lot into this, because he just, you know, I'm writing the songs, I'm playing all the guitar, but he's recording it, he's mastering it, he's basically the engineer, and he's the producer, he's going to do everything. He's playing bass, because I was going to play bass on it, because I didn't think he'd be able to play what I wanted. But he just sent me, because uh, what I want is three songs, Creeping Sensation, Eternal Darkness, and Deceiver are basically a mini uh, concept type. So he sends me a creeping sensation that goes into eternal darkness and I swear if you didn't know you'd think holy crap this is this is freaking cool man this sounds like you know, Motley, Motley Crue on their best day, and Ozzy, old Ozzy, Randy Rhodes Ozzy. To me, there's only Randy Rhodes Ozzy. When I saw Bark at the Moon tour, I bought a shirt and I was done. Because I, I knew the real Ozzy. He was, he's a dimwit. He's, an, he's a goofball, and he's just a cartoon character, like my friend said earlier. So... So, people barely know Ozzy, and if they do, they know him as the doofus of rock, or they like him, they love him for some reason, you know. Sure. In Black Sabbath, he was drugged out of his mind, and he put some good stuff out. He's able to come up with some good melodies. I love Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. I love Masters of Reality. I love uh, Sabotage. Those three albums are great. Paranoid is very cool. Me and my uh, Apache blood brother friend... Uh, Wayne, we uh, we bonded over that because we got in a fight. This is in uh, junior high, and uh, I told him, "Hey, wait, you know, I'm Indian too, Cherokee." He goes, "I'm Apache," and he kicked my <laughs> big time. This guy, I swear, he was like a 22 year old dude that got put into ninth grade or something. Something was very wrong. But he was one of those guys coming in, you know, with uh, the church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints. In the 70s, everybody would, uh, if they had the money, would adopt, not adopt, but take in a uh, an Indian child and let them go to school here and get an education. But the trouble is, is the people here, around here that I knew, if the if the kids were a problem, back they went. They wanted a nice one that would, you know, do what they told them to do. The whole point is to bring them in here and get them to, you know, see how society works, how we've all destroyed it, and, you know, and this is the 70s, so it wasn't as bad as it, it is today. But... That's the trouble. And I even told the person, because I was really close with this guy, Wayne. And, uh, yeah, so we got in a fight, 
and he goes, you know, I'm sorry, and, you know, I want to come to your house and play you music, my favorite music, and I can't play it where uh, I'm allowed, which is, it was uh, the U Dolls, <laughs> who's, my bishop is married to the uh, daughter of them. But, you know, they were good friends of mine, are good friends of my parents, and, uh, but the thing is, is they wouldn't keep troubled youth. They would send them back and try to get a better one. Anyways, so I'm thinking he's going to come down after school and like, we're going to be going or he's going to play a flute or something. No. He goes, this is my this is my my favorite music in the world to listen to. And he pulls out Paranoid. I'm like, no, wait, you like Black Sabbath? He's like, yeah. So, puts on Paranoid, and we listen to the album. The second album is Paranoid, right? Yes. With the crazy guy on the cover. So I'm like, freaking cool, man. That was in junior high. So, anyways, how did I get on that? Indian, da-da-da-da-da. Anyway, so my friend George is doing all this, and we've always wanted to do a band. I don't know how I got on that Indian thing. I'll have to watch this later and see how I got off track because I always veer. So, so on the album, it's very specific. It starts off, it's basically going along with the documentary, which is, is that tonight or tomorrow night? Tomorrow night, because he's not here. Tomorrow night I'm meeting with the guy and we're going to start writing, you know, the script, writing the screen thing. So it's happening tomorrow night. So I, I got to get music down here. So my friend sent me the three songs, Creeping Sensation, uh, Eternal Darkness, and then Deceiver. Deceiver, the beginning of Deceiver is... A, friggin' badass, man. The whole, those first two songs are just so deep, dark, and powerful, man. Oh. Oh, man. When you guys hear it, you're gonna just, you're gonna crap. I did. I'm like, holy <laughs> Just amazing. I'd play it for you, but you know. I'm, I might sneak out a little bit at some point and uh, play it for you guys, but, you know, I don't want to really do anything until it's, you know, until, okay, I'll let you, can you hear this? You've already heard this song, right? But this is a different mix. heard this. This is Creeping Sensation. And it goes into Eternal Darkness. Guess I should put it up against this, huh? Oh. Now what did that sound like, huh? Yeah. It's not, though. This is me playing. I know everybody out there is like, well, he's retarded. He doesn't know how to play anything. Uh, where'd I go? Okay. Oh, that's just the one. How do I get back into that one? Unbelievable. If I had a brain, I'd have to kill it. Okay, there's a folder. Now this is just test mix. This is a rough, rough, rough mix. But I don't know if you guys will be able to hear anything or not. Can you? I should be playing, but I don't feel like it. 
Which is this? Okay, so. But you can't. There's something different there. I'm not going to give you a good recording and then it'll blow the whole thing, all right? All right? So that's creeping sensation. Okay, so then it goes into eternal darkness. I got to hurry. Tell me what you think the other one sounds like. Now, this has been on the internet for a, a year. I recorded this song last year, but he added uh, some stuff to it. Now it's going into the next one. This is all me. I think the new Ozzy is good. This is a very better. Here, this in stereo. The Ozzy has got the wrong band doing his stuff. Should be me and my friends. Pretty cool, huh? Oh yeah, real cool. I don't know where the solo is. Oh, there. Just simple, simple, simple solo. I had to double it or triple it. That's not it, that's not Oh, wait, way more. Okay, so. Go. 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 Uh. That's too much. That's enough for you guys. So you got, you got the basic idea where I'm going with this yeah I'm picking up where somebody left off 30 something years ago 
where everybody left off. That's what I want this to be. Ozzy, the first two albums. Van Halen, the first album and the third album. You know, the first album and... Uh, what is it? Mean Streets? Yeah. Absolutely friggin' the best albums ever by Van Halen. So, you know, and then Molly Crew, the first two albums, Too Fast for Love and Shout Out the Devil. That's what this whole thing is gonna sound like. Oh, that's friggin' Molly. That's Ozzy. That, but no, not so much that it's ridiculous. Just you get a taste. Because the next one goes into a song. It sounds like old Kiss, like something off Destroyer. But I ain't gonna play that for you. Because. Just because there's gotta be something you gotta wait for. Plus, there's no vocals on here. That's up to Lion. Or Lion Miller. I didn't even know that was his last name. <laughs> That's another song that I rewrote. It's called Show You. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's a ripoff of an old song that we did in Fatal Attraction. Sound nothing like it. It's just I want that title. In Fatal Attraction, it was I'll show you a thing or two. That's not how this is going to go.
here because I got to go but uh eh, that's it so you get a little taste maybe I'll give you a little better one later um but that's it so uh so in actuality as far as I'm concerned we only got two songs really I got to go back up and re-record a lot of stuff drunken disorderly's got to be redone uh, Deceiver's got to be redone, and then I got to do so. Live fast, die young, drunk and disorderly. We got those two done. Deceiver's got to be done. I'll show you uh, the what's the other one called? Well, hold on, and uh, long go far away. So that's two others. What are they? Oh, rock and roll legend. Can't forget rock and roll legend, right? and one more what is it I have them written down somewhere well there's ten da 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 oh uh, uh, uh run for your life see I gotta remember all these things but they're all written down so run for your life is that one <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
coming for your life. And that's 10. So, boy, I got a lot. So what I got to do is I'm going to let him go through Christmas and me and everybody else. And then wait till I get my car. I've got to buy a new car. And then back up to Utah and I'll just lay them all out. Because I got all of them. I know how I want them to go. It'll be easy. Like last time when I got there, I thought I knew what I was doing. But the guitar that I had been practicing on, the, the uh, Rhodes V, uh, something was wrong with the grounding. And it wasn't the guitar, because when I brought it back here, it was fine. So we couldn't use it, so I was using his Les Paul. He's got a beautiful Les Paul standard with uh, JB pickups in it. Freaking thing sounds amazing. Everything you hear is that guitar, because the one I brought up didn't work. Twice now I brought up guitars that were shit. First one was a Dean ML. Uh, the uh, dime bag one went up there in the neck and then this time I brought up the friggin V and it was just noisy still can't figure out why I know it's not this because we didn't use this but there you go subscribe I'm almost there man got like what 60 70 people and then I'm, I'm in well I gotta keep it over a thousand subscribers but then I am done I will never ask people to subscribe again I might I don't know because I do need subscribers and it has to stay over a thousand and you tell me do any of these videos that I make do you think they're not suitable for children? I don't know. I don't think they're, they're, I think they're fine. Like kids that, you know, are looking for guys that play guitar. I might suck, but at least I got that 80s, you know, the guitar, old, good, Van Halen, Randy Rhodes, that are, I can't play like them, but that's, that, you can hear it in there. That's what needs to come back because guitar players now suck. They're playing hollow body pieces of crap. They sound like junk. They're like that St. Vincent crap. What is that? That's a pile of junk. You know, Eddie leaves us with this, with this, and it's a perfect guitar, but he's not doing anything because he really doesn't want to. That's the thing. So... <laughs>
both your horns. He goes, well, the one on the honking, but then the, also the, the, you know. What?